All right, in this video, uh, we're going to look at what we call a pH scale, and more importantly, how we use a logarithmic equation uh, to model this pH scale, or to calculate this pH scale. So you're likely uh, familiar with this idea of uh, pH scale from uh, science or chemistry class, if you've taken uh, chemistry before, or even I think maybe in grade 10 science you'd look at it. So a pH, pH scale is used to measure the uh, acidity or alkalinity of a chemical solution or a substance. Um, the pH scale, uh, pH um, is usually a number between 0 and 14. So it ranges from 0 to 14. And the way you get this pH number is using a logarithmic equation. So the pH is equal to negative log of, and then the input is what we call H plus. H plus is the concentration of hydrogen ions uh, measured in moles per liter. Uh, so when you measure the number of, or the concentration of hydrogen ions measured in moles per liter, input that into this logarithmic equation, that's going to give you a number between 0 and 14. The reason we use this pH scale is this number uh, this concentration of hydrogen ions, when you measure it, is an extremely small number. When we input it into the log equation, it gives us a nice, uh, nice number between 0 and 14, which is much easier to work with. So let's look at an example here um, and see how, we, how, how this works. Um, so we'll take the example of water. So water is, um, has a hydrogen concentration of 6.28 times 10 to the power of negative 8 moles per liter, or it should, typically. Uh, under normal circumstances, water would have this hydrogen ion concentration. Um, so this is a very ex small number, right? 10 to the power of negative 8, that's like 0 point, and then there's like 8 zeros, 6.28. So extremely small number. So let's figure out what the pH would be of water. So pH of water would be equal to negative log of uh, 6.28 oops, times 10 to the power of negative 8. You could input this as 0 0.000, uh, zero know, enough zeros, 6 to 8, or you could just input this. Uh, making sure that you put it in brackets so the order of operations works correctly. Um, when you input that into your calculator, you get a value of approximately 7.202. So we'll, we'll round that off to the nearest tenth and say, therefore, the pH of water is 7.2. So that's sort of under normal circumstances. So 7.2 falls right in the middle of that scale, which is between 0 and 14. Um, so it's neither uh, acidic or alkalitic, or what we could sometimes call basic. Um, so it's kind of right in the middle. Uh, but one thing to note here is, um, so an example of when you measure the pH of water, let's say if you have a pool or if you ever worked at a swimming pool, you might be tasked with measuring the pH of the water to make sure that it's sort of right around this number of 7.2. Um, what you actually do when you measure this is you, you put either a test strip or something into, into the water and it will measure, whatever you're using will measure the number of, uh, the concentration of hydrogen ions uh, measured in moles per liter, but then it will give you a reading um, based on the pH scale uh, of a number between 0 and 14. And that reading is, it, it's easier to understand a number between 0 and 14 than a number as small as 0 0.000000, at however many zeros you need, 6.28. Uh, so that's what the pH scale does. It, it kind of gives us a nice number, a scaled number, uh, which we can understand a little easier. Okay, so here's a second example uh, kind of working backwards. So here I'm giving you the pH level of orange juice. I'm telling you that the pH is 3.5 and I want the H value, the, the hydrogen ion concentration. 
So this pH is much closer to zero, meaning it's uh, more acidic. Um, it's, it's about halfway, so it, you can kind of think of it as twice as acidic, or twice as acidic on that pH scale. So in order to get H plus, you just have to substitute 3.5 in for your pH value, and then solve this logarithmic equation. Solve for H plus. So the way we would do that is uh, first deal with this negative. Uh, so we'll divide both sides by negative 1. So negative 3.5 equals the log of H plus. And now I need to convert to exponential form. So remember this is base 10. So this would be 10 to the power of negative 3.5 would equal H plus. So you would have to put that into your calculator, 10 to the power of negative 3.5, and that would be approximately 3.16 times 10 to the power of negative 4. So notice this H plus value is much bigger. Yeah, it's much bigger than the, than the hydrogen ion concentration of water. Right? This was 10 to the power of negative 8, where this is... 10 to the power of negative 4. So that's almost 10,000 times more. So that's, that's a significant difference in the hydrogen ion concentration. times 10 to the power of negative 4 and you got to put the units so that would be moles 